Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for coming back to Dale Chanel's 48th World. Child, now you see who we got on the screen. We gonna be talking about chess players and checker players. And Nene is in the checker uh, player category. It's cause Kenya ain't doing nothing but playing chess on these women. Okay. Not to me. I think she has a mind. I, I really think she has a mind game going on. And she probably know it's no chance in hell that Nene will get put back on the show. Okay? Because she's been watching everything transpire. And she know what happened in the past. She know what had uh, happened to Nene and her transition. But she also know Nene hasn't changed she still got the big head and she definitely has been displaying it all on social media all on the radio all on um different um networks uh talk shows so that is a given but how is my family doing how is my family doing today this is the wonderful friday night okay the 12th of november i hope y'all had a lovely day i was off today had to take in some doctor appointments nothing serious or anything like that just regular routine checks and i had a lovely day spent it with my mom we went grocery shopping and out to eat and we came back home so that was a nice deal but honey kenya moore says she don't mind any coming back and i'm like cat why <laughs> why well it's good publicity in my eyes for kenya to say as much possible positiveness about any of her cast members because she's still making her money i know i know my whitney picture i'm going with whitney too with that oh no why 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 well, honey, it's just Kenya is playing checkers. Well, she's playing chess compared to Nene playing checkers. So the girl is always going to be skilled, poised, and on point when it comes to that greenback, that money, them coins, however you want to put it. And you always need your haters to motivate you. So she's in the right position. She don't solidify herself over with Dance with the Stars, something that Nene Leaks did way back when okay then she back on the show to get her money nini is not she's knocking at the door but nobody's answering and of course andy cohen said supposedly her best friend her best buddy meaning nini is not answering the door and he's not putting her name in his mouth to cause any friction on the social media waves okay so i'm like i ain't got no i ain't got nothing to say against Andy because he's just upholding, even though it's a blanket statement that he's promoting not letting any back by not saying anything good and not saying something to the fact that he wants her to come back and he's going to do everything uh, in his uh, power to get her back on the show if anything possible. But he said nothing like that. So pretty much he was like, kiss my raggedy grits. Okay, y'all remember Flo and Mel with... Um, I think that show was called Alice way back in the day. If you, if you're old enough to remember it, it was Alice that cook Mel. Dog, I can't remember the goofy lady. Uh, Flo was the one that said "Kiss my grits." Uh, I can't hear uh, Mel. Used to always call her Dingy, or whatever. But he loved her. He loved her. It was all in love. But anyway, kind and now and said "Kiss my grits, Nene." You will not be in my presence in a more time out. You paid this and that for me like I didn't, couldn't afford it myself. Or I didn't have other friends like Anderson Cooper to throw me something. Or any of the other ladies from the Housewives franchise. You just put your stamp on in and everything. And just talk all the time. Giving out people information that they don't need to know. So I'm like, he's talking. This ain't watch what happens live when you can think you can talk and say whatever you want to say. Nope. <laughs> he said, nope, I don't think so. Yeah, can you watch when she support Nene? And I'm like, can you just support her? Because you know for a fact that Nene ain't got a chance in H-E-L-L to come back to the throne. You know that. But then again, if you just throw her olive branch and you want buy guns to be buy guns, I can play along with you. But I got my eye on you, Kenya. I got my eye on you. But I can't say maturity has been in your portfolio this year. 
maturity, overlooking things, being more calmer, approaching things more calmer, and, and just checking people when they need to be checked. So I have to applaud you when I see Grow Girl. Kenya's come to be one of my favorites. All right. I, I'm just hoping it don't be temporary because, you know, she could be playing chess with my mind too with these actions going on but you know hey she was like all in she said nene definitely have a great storyline to kind of wrap up everything of you know her being on the housewives and the putting the icing on the cake you know the network and the uh, viewers of the show can see how she's doing after the passing of her husband or deceased husband greg and how she's transitioning into her newfound freedom of being by herself single and trying to you know put stuff together where she feels more comfortable in herself by being single at this point and you know looking for love i guess i don't know i don't know what any plans are because right now it seems like she all over the all over the board and i'm like if you don't sit yourself down Nene, and go get some counseling because you are really everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time but it's if what it is but that was just my take y'all but let's get on into this article that page six broke out and I wish they would bring Phaedra back, but we know that ain't a chance in H E W L L either because as long as Candy's still there, ain't no chance for Phaedra to come back. She can be on any other spinoffs that Bravo want to connect her to, but not that R H O A. All right. Like they're in some kind of uh, sorority or something. I'm like, Candy, break, break, break away. Go do something else. Go continue to produce plays or whatever. I, I don't know, but go. This, you had a long time, and it's just time for you to go, okay? Develop into something else. You got all these business. You got all these money streams. Why? 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 Stay on the wretched show, girl, that you're definitely not giving anything to. Don't be like Cynthia, where they have to force you out. Same thing what they did with Nene. I know you're not going to say anything, but you be talking. You be talking. You be talking their language, and sometimes they be like, okay, Candy, we'll do it. Oh, okay, Candy, that's not, it's not good enough right now. Go back to the table. Bring it back. You know, spice it up a little bit and see what we can do later on down the year okay but not in this fiscal quarter year no no you know they probably talking to her like that and she'd be like okay okay I, I, I'll, I'll keep it posted you know just trying to keep her good graces but i'm like candy everything has a finale everything has a point of not going any further and hopefully 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 do you have anything else that you can provide on another show that we don't have to see you on real housewives of atlanta your seat need to be filled we need to see it really every last one of them seats need to be filled except for marlo because she's new we're trying to see what she can give us drew Sidora need to go i'm not really sure about this olympian uh gold medalist i just really don't know what she would provide other than keeping us uh in tune with the sports arena i don't which i don't care for at all so i think she's gonna be a one-time hit wonder there to my saying uh what her name sonya saying sanya ross richard whatever okay i just know her as an olympian gold winner and somehow she's attached to sheree or uh, marlo hell i don't know see i'm confused already but anyway hopefully she'll give us something i really don't think so because she don't seem like that type she seems like she's more about that business she don't want her uh, personal life really uh, looked on her on a microscope. She don't want people going to her private information that's public. Be able to find. You know, this don't seem like a good fit. I mean, they said she was on a, a reality show or some kind of a sitcom show. I, I don't know. It only was one season, so it must wasn't that good. But I'm just saying, she kind of reminds me of Ken Fields. Like, she's soft. She's mushy in the inside. And she seems like a very good person. And with being on Real Housewives of Atlanta, you got to have some kind of thick skin. Or you're going to be nonchalant, but you still got to have thick skin because people going to be talking about you. You may not get favorable, favorable um, reviews from the public viewing the show. And, you know, how can you handle that? You know, we don't want you to go into a headspace where you just can't take it. And you be ready to get off in mid-season or you be breaking down in mid-season and we watch you fall apart. It's really not a good show for people that have good morals and ethics about themselves. Not a good show at all. But we'll see what she can bring. Maybe she's tougher than what I think. And maybe she has another side. You know how they have, uh, say you have that duality type going on. So maybe she has something like that. A Jekyll and Hyde type scenario. And, you know, maybe it'll fare well. I'm not really sure. Because I ain't giving them about uh, three or four e episodes in before I decide whether I want to watch the show and review it. So they, they on a the time limit with me. They on a the time limit because they haven't been giving me nothing in the last five, six, seven years. So you see how and where I'm going with this. But anyway, we're going back to the article. Page six brought out 
uh, Evan Real. Don't know if it's a, a lady or man, because Evan can go both ways. You know, even or Evan. It just depends. But I'm going to say it's a male. He titled his article, Kenya Moore Supports Nene Coming Back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta at the Portia and Cynthia Exits. Well, you know, Portia, she's trying to do her thing on her new sitcom. We're going to be definitely seeing and reviewing on the 28th, you know, uh, what's going on. It's that Sunday right after uh, the holiday. So everybody should be at home. Should be, excuse me, well rested. Full with all the comings and goings of the holiday treats and stuff of that nature. And, and so we should be sitting back relaxing and waiting for some ratchetness. Now, if she don't give it to us, we already know. You know, because first we had some good things. Because it, it gave me a chuckle. I ain't going to lie. It, it gave me nothing but uh, laughing and, and giggling. And, and you know, like make, just made me want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Like all the foolishness and the ratchetness was going on. And I was okay because that's what I wanted at the time. I don't know how fair it's going to be with exposing your heritage family, meaning Jose Williams, a civil acts activist, and, and and what he tried to do prior to him leaving by creating a, a, a Jose Feed the Hungry, you know, and then his uh, daughter, you know, um, uh, developing and manifesting a little further, adding on new uh resources for the center and you know how she's gonna look on a, a ratchet reality tv show because you know bravo is going to definitely show the most juiciest side and if that side happens to be down here going south you know and full of ratchetness and, and just pettiness on it's gonna maybe put a bad look on the spin of her organization what she represents as a civil rights activist because uh, the show gave you a different viewpoint when pressure was out there doing that Black Lives Matter, trying to support the cause and Black Lives Matter and, and, and bring more awareness of how people of color are treated still uh, disastrous in a sense, still getting discriminated against. It's a lot of stigma, negative stigma attached to the brown people out here. Okay. And uh, she told that all up when she went and, you know, fooled with somebody else's husband that wasn't quite ready to go into that dating mode with her or whatever it's a, you know but maybe she can give us some clarification and we can have another spin on what Portia's giving us you know and we don't look so bad at Portia because it, it kind of look bad for her right now but I'm saying I'm waiting to you know hear her side hopefully it'll develop in her little show that she has going on for one season maybe we'll find some answers maybe not you know, it just depends on what the show or how the editors wanted to edit out everything, whether we'll get a full picture. But, you know, Kenya's in, in great support of bringing Nene back. She's not saying any bad words or any uh, thoughts to make you think that um, she wants to start stuff with Nene just to get her back on the, you know, the show, to have somebody to fuss and fight with. She didn't give me that. It's just like, okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll let you listen to a little clip as well because page six had that. But anyway, it goes on to say if Kenya Moore could give Nene Leaks her peach back, she would. And, and she pretty much said she said, well, it ain't up to her and ain't up to Andy. It's really up to the executives that be whether they want to walk the walk and talk the talk with Nene for another whole season. It's up to them. Ain't got nothing to do with her nor Andy whether he want to admit it to it or not that's what she was saying and then uh, the article said i do think that she has a very interesting storyline to tell now especially with the unfortunate passing of her husband uh great leaks more 50 exclusively told page six in a new interview addressing nini recent admissions that she would like to rejoin the real housewives of atlanta and we know why nini want to join the real housewives of atlanta because those funds are depleting faster than she could say jumping jack flash okay because she's living in a different uh bracket of income and the income that she was having it's not coming in like water it's not coming in like the uh, rain you know it, it's just it's not flowing like the river so she got to do some real quick damage control to see what she can do to bring that level of income back where it's sustainable okay because she got a uh, night like a lounge club whatever you want to call it over there that that needs to be paid every month the lights over there need to be paid every month her employees need to be paid so it's just a lot and if you don't have residual income coming in to take up some of those slow times when people are not going to be patroning your uh lounge or you know, you're going to need some work done on the house or the maintenance of the grounds, you know, got to be kept. Where's that money coming from? So all that's on Nene. So I feel it. But I'm telling you, she better cut that house in half and sell it for whatever she can. Because, whoo, she already had to slice it. 200000 
from the four million she was asking. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. But going back to the article, it said, with the excess of fans' favorite Portia Williams and Cynthia Bailey, more believes there is room for Lisa to reclaim her position on the show. If it were up to her fans, they would say, absolutely yes bring her back she was a viable cast member for many many years the kenya moore hair care ceo said she's one of the ogs and she can't take that away from the franchise as real housewives of atlanta viewers are well aware more and league 53 largely sparred throughout their seven shared seasons however the longtime frenemies finally put their differences aside this year when Moore attended memorial services for league's husband greg who died in september following a four-year battle with colon cancer okay i think that we're in a decent place she stated Moore told us i do or i did go to greg's repast and i think we had gotten to a place where we felt better about each other and the relationship. When Leeks told the real co-host last week that she was interested in reprising her role as a housewife, she said that she had unfinished business to take care of with the current cast, which includes Moore, Candy Burr, Cherie Whitfield, Drew Sedora, Newbie Sanya, Richard Schwartz, and first-time peach holder Marlo Hampton. I don't think it's that is needed decision at this point. Wait a minute, I don't know if that is Nene's decision at this point. I think it's really kind of up to the network noted more. But I don't think she's referencing me when she's talking about unfinished business because we're in a good place. Well, um, hey, <laughs> yeah, we thought she was in a good place with Cynthia and we look how that turned out, okay? And I'm glad Cynthia has stopped talking about Nene because there's no need. Because she could keep digging herself in a bigger hole than what she already had fell in initially. Okay, but going back. Um, while more would welcome Leek's return, the Gone with the Wind fabulous singer says she is revealing in the cast shakeup for season 14, which is in its first weeks of production. The diamond dynamics have changed because personalities have changed. Ladies change. The season change from year to year. We have a new housewife, she said, of Olympian Richards Ross, 36, also teasing that a few more could be added to the mix as filming continues. Yes, we all know that. We don't know if light skin Keisha coming or they got uh Richard Simmons daughter. Not Lord Richard Simmons, uh Ron DMC, Reverend Ron's uh daughter angela simmons and she's coming to the show yeah i said the same thing um my prince picture i said the same thing <laughs> because that's uh, uh <laughs> we don't need bow wow we don't need romeo master p we don't need none of them folks from hip-hop love whatever it was they come knocking at our door because uh <laughs> She didn't really give anything there. I don't think she's going to give anything here. But from what I'm told from other YouTubers, um, she might be, um, what well, they might be, um, what do you call it, uh, practicing with her, watching her, filming her just to see if she looks good on um, the camera. And just, uh, I don't know, maybe they're doing a private uh, screening for people to come in and give their honest opinion on her you know like a private session where they get you know anybody off the street to come in and see is she likable you know what you think about her her being on the screen that does it seem like she could match well with other like you know just uh, something like that i don't know what you would call it it's, it's something that most marketing people do when they're trying to bring out a new product they do a testing with uh test subjects it could be kids that would bring out new toys it could be food or uh equipment and they have people you know different age groups different personality not, not personality but different um um cultures come out and view products and give their honest opinion so I, it's called like a brainstorm or a think tank something to that degree but anyway uh, going back to the article it says um uh, the other ladies are definitely interesting they're bringing something different this season i think that's what the viewers really wanted is to see something different from rhoa and I think they're going to get it. I'm excited about the new potential uh, of this cast. 
Hmm, Moore has particularly enjoyed reconnecting with her former on-screen adversary Whitfield, 51, who last appeared on Atlanta as a guest in season 13. But I know one thing, Kenya and Sheree, if y'all come up there talking about Moore Mansion and, uh, what, what is it called? Chateau Sheree, I don't want to hear it, okay? I don't want to hear it because, you know, we could talk about Kenya and her mold situation and we could talk about... I don't know, uh, is, is Sheree having trouble still paying for her mortgage, or do she still have it in her mother's name? You know, it's old, it's dead, it's tired, put a fork in it, don't want to hear about it, bring us some more antics, but not those two scenarios, don't want to hear it. Okay, then we go back, it says, I love Sheree, Sheree and I have a really good friendship, and we have great chemistry, she said of their neighbor, who's in famous Chateau, Sheree is never just minutes away from the Moors Manor. We have a good thing going. I don't know what it is, but we get along really well. Okay. Um, now, that's Sheree speaking. I mean, that's Kenya speaking. We don't know what Sheree going to be talking about. Uh, Moore is also thrilled for Hampton 45, who has secured a full-time spot at the years of filming or filling in as a beloved friend of. I think it's beautiful when you can uh, want something so badly and so long and finally get it. She said, I love that she's finally getting her flowers now 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 see i don't i don't understand that because um even though we may have speculated that something marlo wanted marlo never ever actually came out and said she wanted a peach she always said she was happy filming as a friend she didn't have to go through all the scrutiny the other ladies had to go to by being peach older so i don't know kenya um i'm a home i'm a home a piece i'm a home a mule on that one i'm a home a mule on that a uh, reflection of uh, what Marla was saying, unless she was telling you some off screen and she wanted to really be a peach holder. Where it seems, you know, hey, the floor was wide open with Nene not coming back, Portia not coming back. We getting rid of Cynthia because she's just bored, tired, and through um, with whatever she was giving us from the beginning, which wasn't hardly nothing. Um, yeah. it would, And then, you know, Marla kind of mean things with the gay community and. It, they expect her to not make more slurs or, you know, inhumane type of suggestive uh, things about their community. So they forgave her, you know. And I'm like, damn, if the gay community can forgive Marlo for all her infractions towards them with that moment of slip of the tongue, why can't Candy forgive Pedro? I don't understand, guys. I don't understand. But anyway, moving on from that. It says, Moore, who joined Real Housewives of Atlanta in 2012, Season 5, and took a brief hiatus in 2018 to focus on raising daughter Brooklyn 3, uh, believes recent developments in Hampton's family life made her more appealing to Bravo this year. She's fostering her nephews, and that's an interesting dynamic to see an aunt helping to raise two young black men and what they go through and what they look like. She said, coupled with the timing of it all, I think it's a great look for her and for the franchise. Before Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 14 premieres, more will appear on an anticipated Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip spinoff, which begins streaming November 18th, uh, which is coming up. I think it's, uh, I'm going over 12, 30, whatever it is. It might be coming up later on next week uh, on the Peacock channel. So, of course, if y'all don't have Peacock, uh, I suggest you get it if you want to see it. Or I guess you just have to wait until they put it on, you know, maybe Bravo will put it on their little, watch what's, uh, you know, behind the scenes of Bravo's whatever antics. And then you can catch and do a review that way. Because I know I have no plans on uh, going in and, and Sign up for screaming uh, streaming services with Peacock. Nope, 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 nope. Don't plan on doing that. But anyway, uh, yes, that's all I had for this particular segment. Of let's talk about our celebrities out there, the ones that we, you know, like looking at. I ain't gonna say we cherish. I ain't gonna say ooh. You know, I just say we admire them to a certain degree. You know, they make us laugh. They make us cry. They can make us have emotions out the wazooka. And, you know, it gives a good, you know, give us a good kiki laugh here, but we don't take anything serious. Because we know, uh, most of us know, they're just acting. Except for Nene, I can't say how she acts on camera, it's how she acts in real life. Because she's pretty much have shown us that. She can be, you know, very cold and calculated and just don't want to be bothered. 
uh, on the show as well as she does that. She takes the same persona and do it in her real life. Hopefully she would change. She says she's working on her, but we have yet to see very little change in the area of her socializing and behaving well with others. Okay? Off camera is what I'm saying. But that's all I have for this particular video. You like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. Push that notification bell and you'll know when I upload and release videos. So y'all can come on in the room and chill. Alright, and listen to what I have to say. Then inform your opinions at the very end. Alright, but other than that, um, don't forget to like and share my videos. And I will see y'all next time. Night, night.